Okay, warning, Sunday 21st of October. Very early in the morning, quarter to six. I'm just gonna burn it, see if we can see the sunrise here over Mount Everest. It looks a bit cloudy, so I'm not sure whether we can. We'll uh, see what we can do. I think there's a tower behind we can go up and uh, see it. Let's see if we can do okay. it. Hello again. Now we've just climbed to the top of our hotel. It's the next of our side of our hotel. It's uh, not finished being built yet, but you can come in. It's like a building site. And uh, see the sunrise, but it looks a bit cloudy. Let's see uh, Let's see if the sun doesn't appear in a few minutes. Okay, so Meta, Jamie and Torben have also joined me on this very early sunrise tour in the clouds. Just to share, one of the most magnificent sights you would ever see is behind the clouds. <laughs> That's a small airplane going for the Everest sunrise tour. Oh yeah. We're not going to see much, I don't think. Okay, no mountains, but the sun has just appeared. That's about the most we can do today. This is the tower we just climbed under construction. But we were allowed in anyway. Shame we didn't see the view. I was having a nice breakfast, relaxing day today. Don't have to walk anywhere, just relax. <laughs> nice place. Okay, finally the mountains have appeared. Straight ahead there, we can see back to Paul, that's where we're going now. And behind that way in the distance is Kathmandu. We are driving on now is tarmac, but it is completely destroyed and big, big holes in it. So we are just sitting here talking about when we are home in Denmark, we will never ever again complain about a footpath that is not completely straight and even, or a little hole in the tarmac. That is nothing thing for these people have to live it every day. You see, there's a lot of rice fields. Jeep has just dropped us off in Bhaktapur. Then we'll be taking that one later. Let's go and have a look at Bhaktapur, Durbar Square, except for watching. Tickets here, I think, then. Uh... Okay, we're just entering Bhaktapur here. It's amazing how much destruction there is still to see. Three and a half years after the earthquake. It's actually used to be the capital of Nepal. It's a living museum now, you can walk around and see a lot of architecture, wooden buildings and carvings and uh, let's go and have a look. It's quite interesting already. We just found the peacock window, uh, carved out of wood. And, uh, it's called the Mona Lisa of Nepal. An example of just how good they are carving in wood. You can see throughout the whole Kathmandu Valley. Amazing. If 
from the shop here. You can also get a good view. Think of window. Amazing shop. I've ever seen to a coffee shop. What a coffee shop. Okay, this is probably the coziest coffee shop I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> yeah. Never seen a place like this before. Yeah. Wow, cappuccinos. Wow, what a place. Dean is into green tea. He's very healthy today. <laughs> okay, it's probably the best coffee shop I've ever been to. We also have rooms up there, but you need to book three months in advance, so maybe next time. Now we're on the way to Durbar Square. Yet another Durbar Square, but this time here in Bhaktapur. So this is Durbar Square here in Bhaktapur. Let's go and have a look around here. It's quite an interesting place. So this is Durbar Square here in Bhaktapur. Okay, so Bhaktapur, this used to be the actual capital of Nepal between the 12th and 15th century. So it's a uh, there was an English explorer, he said if uh, you only ever go to one place in Nepal and go here. So let's go and have a look around. Looks a little bit of a rush though because that taxi driver, he was one hour late collecting us from the hotel at the end of the universe and now we have to rush around here a bit. That's a shame. There's a lot to see here. You can also see here, many of the buildings are supported with wooden beams. And this building here is completely in ruins still. This is a little bit like Kathmandu with Hindu and Buddhist temples. <laughs> that was Durbar Square, now we're moving on to the next square. So this is uh, Tao Madi Square. See, this city has been hit by a powerful earthquake. And life goes on. They're quick to start rebuilding. This building's crumbling everywhere.
pile of rice here that they're working with. So that was a lightning speed visit of Bhaktapur. <laughs> that was a shame. I could have spent much more time here. Maybe we'll come back one of the days. Let's see. A really interesting place. This is our new place and we have... We're not the same place than the last, the last hotel called Kumari Hotel. But this is Oasis Hotel. Oasis Hotel. Yeah. And now you can see how good this is. Yeah. We're back in Kathmandu now for one night. But we just moved to hotel. Is this a new place? So we just moved to a different uh, hotel today here in Kathmandu. Those houses are uh, full, but the hotel's new and also the restaurant here is new. It's only been open 20 days, this restaurant here. Um, a lot of the, uh, the buildings here are either in, uh, in ruins after the earthquake or they've been rebuilt. This one is completely new, 20 days. So, uh, The building on the opposite side here still got cracks in it. We're eating a lot here in Nepal. It's something called a tally. It's a kind of set dinner. We get all kinds of things with rice and vegetables and chicken curry. Jamie's is a little bit spicy. How's it going, Jamie? <coughs> it's going good. He just changed his chicken curry. It's not always a Danish people then. Nepal people agree on what is spicy and what is not. <laughs> oh, I think it's spicy. <laughs> it tastes good. In Paul's diet, it's not spicy. Yeah. So it was the end of another day. We were back in Kathmandu. We started this morning in Nagarkot, where we didn't see the sunrise, even though we hoped we did. Although we use up early tomorrow, we have a really exciting day because where are we going tomorrow? We are going to safari tomorrow. Safari, yeah. So and we, we are seeing elephants. Yeah, elephants tomorrow. So we have to get up very early again. Six o'clock we have to uh, go to the bus station. So, okay, we'll go to bed. We're tired. Okay, Bye -bye. good night.